Welcome to the Archaea template and workspace course. In this course, we're going to have a look at the navigator and understand how the navigator works, how this helps us to set up our project maps, things like stories, sections, elevations, interior elevations, worksheets, details, 3D documents and more. We will look at our view map, which is where we save these views with attributes and settings to be able to reference them access them, and then to be able to place them onto our layout book, which of course are our pages, or the things that will be printed, exported. We finally have our publisher, and this is the way that we publish our layouts. We can access that through our navigator, and we'll also have a look at our organizer, which is very similar to our navigator, except it's a split screen. We'll be having a look at the element attributes. This is a major aspect of our Archicad template as well. These are found under options, element attributes, layers, lines, pens, all of these things here, which give us the built-in settings to be able to draw. We'll be looking at toolbars and palettes, what we should be using and how we can customize those. These are found under our window toolbars and palettes and these are all of the elements that we see on the screen and that's a big part of our workspace settings so apart from our windows toolbar palettes we also have our options our work environment and this allows us to change the way that we work the type of information that we see uh, it also has to do with the language and the numerical system, whether we're talking about imperial or metric and the way that we represent those numbers. Why would we be creating a template and workspace? The intention of the workspace and template is to make the process of your work easier, to make it faster. So we will be setting up, if you want to, customize your Archicad template and workspace and you want it to do it in a way that you'll be working constantly. So you make those changes once, and then of course you'll implement those and use those every time you create a new project. So that you don't necessarily need to do that from scratch, I've also created an Archiad template that you can purchase. And as well as that, I've created element attributes that you can download as well. In this course, we'll be looking at the Archiad template. If you choose to use that, you can use my template, and then you can edit my template to make it your own. You can use a standard template that we get from Archicad straight out of the box, or we could even start with no template, and we'll be going through all of those options and looking at how to customize all of those options.